taking possession, mastering, there, in English. Hello, English learners. Welcome to our new episode focusing on possessive adjectives. Today, we're delving into the world of third-person plural possessive adjective, there. It might seem simple at first, but there has many interesting uses in English that can make your language more vibrant and nuanced. So, let's take the plunge. First things first, there is a possessive adjective used to show ownership or belonging to more than one person. We use it when we're referring to something that belongs to them. For example, this is their car. In this sentence, there shows that the car belongs to more than one person. Although there is generally associated with plural owners, it can also be used to refer to a single owner when the gender is not specified or is irrelevant. For example, you might say, each student should bring their book to class. Here, there is used to represent a singular student, but the gender of the student isn't specified. This usage is becoming increasingly common and is widely accepted in formal and informal writing. Remember, there often gets confused with there, a contraction of they are, and there, an adverb indicating place. But these words have different meanings and uses. For example, there is used when we're describing something about multiple people. For example, they're very friendly. There is used to specify a place or position. For example, put the book over there. Don't mix these up. There is all about possession. And that wraps up our deep dive into the third person plural possessive adjective, there. We hope this episode has been illuminating and that you're now more confident about using there in your English communications. Keep practicing, and always remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. See you in our next episode.